Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to first discuss with you is what's the difference between these two angles? All right, and how could we even graph them? Well, first of all, I want to kind of knock out the park already that some of you might be thinking, well, one's in degrees, one's in radians. Because there's no degree symbol up there. I didn't make a mistake. There's no degree symbol up there. So these are two angles that are in radians. All right? So there are no degrees. So I don't want you to be thinking, oh, one's in degrees, one's in radians. But we have one is 3 halves, and one is 3 pi over 2. Now, usually, we're not going to write a radian in our fraction. We usually write it as like 1.5. And I'll just kind of explain what we're going to look at. So let's go back and remember what radians are. Remember, a radian is going to be taking our radius, right, and wrapping it around our arc length. So we have our radius. When I wrap it around, what I get is a radian. Let's say it's like there. Does everybody follow me right now? When you take your radius and you wrap it around your arc length, you obtain a radian, right? So if I say that's one radian, and then you say that's two radians, where would you estimate that 1.5 radians would be? Halfway between there, right? Somewhere right around there, all right? So therefore, the angle of theta equals 1.5 is the rotation of a ray about your vertex at the center to about that angle. So that is when theta equals 1.5 or 3 halves. Does that make sense, Mackenzie? Does that make sense? Everybody, does everybody see that? Radius, radian. Two radians. Three radians. And then what's halfway around? So if that's three radians, then halfway around the circle is how many radians? That one lovely mystery number, pi, right? So how then am I going to do 3 halves over pi? Well, let's look at it. So if here's pi, right? Right now, my circle is broken into um, halves. So if from here to here is pi, then from here to here is what? Pi over 2. It's half of the distance of pi. If from here to here is pi, then from here to here is pi over 2. So if I was going to add another half to pi, pi plus pi over 2, put them as the same denominator, and you'd get 3 pi over 2. So 3 pi over 2 is the angle from here to all the way to here. OK? Does everybody see that? Because a lot of students think these are going to be the same thing or they're different. One is in terms of pi meaning it's a fraction of the distance pi, which the distance of pi is from here to here. This one is in terms of just radian lengths. So you're just looking at the lengths of radians and just determining where it's at. Totally two different angles, right? Not the same thing. Don't get them confused, all right? Okay, 